When it comes to military power, many Chinese experts seem to mock or tease India by calling their army and defense technology inferior. Many Chinese also seem to be very proud of their unique capability to design or develop their so-called advanced weapon systems. But how true or false are those claims? The Chinese state-affiliated media outlet quotes Qian Feng of Tsinghua University, who thinks that India cannot easily gain the advantage over China by purchasing advanced and high-tech weapons from other countries. Mr. Feng also questions India's capability for research and development by referring to it as low. Well, as far as China's confidence and pride regarding its so-called indigenous technology is concerned, even a non-military expert like me can easily challenge those claims. Point number one. If India buys advanced weapons to fill the necessary gaps, so does China. Otherwise, why did China purchase the S-400 missile system from Russia? Should we think that China did it because of its poor capacity for research and development? Point number two. Now this may sound like very shameless behavior, but it is well documented how Chinese spies have stolen sensitive military technology on numerous occasions from the USA. The Washington DC-based Center for Strategic and International Studies has revealed the number of times that Chinese spies attempted to steal America's sensitive defense technology. Let me give you a few examples of Chinese-linked espionage directed at the United States just within the last 20 years. 2003 Stealth Aircraft Data June 2005 Cruise Missile Exhaust System October 2005 Navy's Current and Future Warship Technologies April 2006 – Space Shuttle Discovery Program February 2008 – The C-17 Military Transport Aircraft and the Delta IV rocket And then see what happened in January 2013 So many crucial designs stolen by the Chinese hackers August 2014 – C-17, the F-22 and the F-35 May 2015 – Turbofan Engines January 2018 – Supersonic Anti-Ship Missile And it is not only the USA who is at the receiving end. It was reported that China employs a million intelligence agents and even Germany has faced attacks from state-backed Chinese spying operation, costing German companies 50 billion euros and 30,000 jobs every year. For India and other normal countries, this behavior is understood as theft and espionage, but maybe in China it is understood as R&D. If this is how China develops or improves its technology, then is it really something to be proud of? Of course, India may not be as good as China when it comes to stealing others' technologies, and there is no doubt that India's growth in some technological departments is comparatively slower. Point number three. While it can be said that India should have done better when it comes to developing its own indigenous weapon systems, it also would be wrong to say that India is not trying to catch up and fill the gaps. It should also be pointed out that even though India's budget is now the third highest in the world, it is only around 2.1% of its GDP, out of which a massive 59% was dedicated to salary and pension. So yes, India can do a lot better as far as its R&D is concerned. But why would India want to follow the Chinese model of R&D, which seems to include hacking and spying on other countries' sensitive information and secrets? If you want to learn more about science, scientific misconduct, and how various countries steal sensitive information, please watch this episode as well. See you again.